Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about Jennifer Webb. So Not that. see, I, I would just jump in straight away and say that's the least scary name we've had so far. I mean, <laughs> we've Webb. had Dennis Nielsen. That's got like, a bit of a, and then David Heiss. Um, Jennifer was the victim. Actually. Oh, oh right. disrespectful of me. I can't say the killer's name because otherwise it won't be a surprise. Okay, <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, Ooh, I'm yeah. spooked. Uh, Victims see. aren't often scary. Yeah, so that makes yes, sense now. Yeah, I liked what you did because you did that with the last one. Yeah. You, like, you, you blindsided us because mm. I was like, oh fuck, the boyfriend's a killer. Oh, no, it's my favourite part of the episode. Yeah, exactly. So Jennifer Webb was in her early 30s. She had a really good career. She had a lot of friends. She bought a house and everything. And she was really happy with her life, apart from the fact that she didn't have a boyfriend. And she was like, I'm getting older. I do want a family, but like, I'm running out of time to have a child. And so her friends were all very aware that that was like her mindset. And so they were really surprised when she turned up one day and said, I'm five months pregnant. So they were like, who? Like, what happened? You're not seeing anyone, are you? And she was like, oh, actually, I couldn't tell you all this, but I've been seeing a married man. And she told him his name and everything. And she she was never under the illusion that he was going to raise this child with her. She knew that she had to do it alone and everything. And she was totally fine with that. She was fine with him getting on with his wife and whatever. And so one day she goes and spends the day with her friend and she's like, oh, I'm going to go meet the father of the baby later and we're going to talk about child support and everything because he did agree to pay child support. And so she goes, meets this father, and then she isn't seen for a good few hours. And then that same night, police find Jennifer Webb dead at the side of her car. But it's quite obviously a suicide. So... The way that it was set up, she was like slumped at the side of her car. She had a rope around her neck and the rope was also attached to the like luggage rail on the top of the car, which is not a way that I've ever heard of anyone killing themselves before. No. And sh- the fact that she was sat on the floor meant that her weight was on the floor as well. But anyway, so these police came to the scene. There was an Officer Patterson and an Officer Blue. So Officer Patterson was taking pictures of the scene and Officer Blue went straight to her bag to find her ID and find out who this was. And as soon as he saw the ID, he said, oh, I know this girl. She goes in like the bars and pubs often. And so while he was in her bag, he also found a typed up and printed suicide note. And in this note, Jennifer's talking about like how she lied about who the father of the baby was because she didn't want her family to be like disappointed in her. It was a guy that she just met It was a one night stand and like she just feels really disappointed in herself. She hates her job. She hates her life and she didn't want to go on. So her family was told about this and straight away her mum said, no, she might be dead, but she didn't kill herself. So police were like, well, it's obviously a suicide. And her mum was like, no, she's happy with her career. Why does it say that in the suicide note? Like if Jenny was to write a suicide note, it'd be done in gel pens. It'd have glitter on it. That's just the kind of person she was. Right. And so police were really eager to just close this case and be like, look, it's a suicide, but her family wouldn't let them. Anyway, they tidied up this whole crime scene and whatever and took it away because they believed it was a suicide. So the police went to her family and like they were like, well, if you're so sure that this wasn't a suicide, then like tell us more about it. Like what's going on in her life? Like who's the father of this baby and everything? And they were like, well, it's not a Chris, we know exactly who the father of the baby is. And they were like, well, who? And they said, Officer Kenneth Blue. (gasps) Oh, fuck. The first officer at the scene that day. And so they DNA test this baby, and of course it was Kenneth Blue. And so police never want to accuse their own. Yeah. Yeah. And so the police force was rather corrupt in this case. And so they were looking at like different pieces of evidence but at the same time they took away the whole crime scene so Mm. it was like they weren't going to find much from the suicide note and everything but they took it to a lab and they dna tested it and like fingerprint tested it and kenneth blue's fingerprints were on this letter and of course it was typed up and printed how often do you see a suicide note printed yeah Yeah. as soon as you said that i thought that's fishy as fuck Yeah. yeah But still, the police force were not willing to accept this. They were like, well, his fingerprints, of course his fingerprints are going to be on it because he picked it up at the crime scene. But he was wearing gloves that day because they arrived. Is it a crime scene? A crime scene, yeah. Yeah. Um, So not only that, they were all at this crime scene, but the car wasn't there, nothing was there. So they were looking for 
bits in the grass, if anything. Mm. And they were all getting really frustrated with this case. They actually drafted in a different police force to mm. take over this because mm-hmm. once it's got one of their officers involved, of course it's going to be corrupt. 100%. Yeah. yeah. And so this new police force were really frustrated and they didn't know what to do because everything was taken away. And so one of them decides to go away for a walk and just kind of de-stress and everything. And he was having a cigarette about 200 yards away from the crime scene. And for some reason, he just looks at the floor and sees a blood drop. And then he was like, okay. So he carried on looking around that area. He found a used cigarette butt. And he was like, okay, maybe they're linked. Carried on looking around. He found a charm from like a charm bracelet. He was like, okay, so maybe the crime scene starts over here. So they bring the whole like investigation 200 yards a different way and they DNA test this blood spot. But of course, it's such a small little spot. They couldn't really identify who exactly it was, but it was a woman's. And they took this charm and they took it back to the police station. They brought her family in and her family said, that's Jennifer's. And so the last piece of... Oh, the charm. Yeah, the little charm. Oh, the charm so I thought the family had looked at the blood and gone, like, that's Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I was like, how the fuck do they know? Yeah, and then the cigarette butt, they yeah. sent that off to the lab and DNA test results said that it was Kenneth Blues. <sighs> and so this whole investigation, they were like, it's got to be Kenneth Blue. But he was denying it. All his police mates were denying it and everything, but the evidence was there. But it was kind of Shit. That did, is mad. did he get convicted? Yeah. Oh. But he pled not guilty the whole time. He was like, it's obviously a suicide. Like, you all deemed that this was a suicide. Why are you now turning it on me? And everyone's like, evidence. So, yeah. you, so, <laughs> tends to help. so is it pretty conclusive that he'd got, gotten her pregnant, she was going to have the baby, and he thought the only way of stopping her having the baby was to murder her? Yeah. But like I said, she didn't expect him to be a part of it. I just think, like, I think he was scared that maybe his yeah, wife would find out. himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. So he'd rather also, be a murderer. Yeah, but also, what are the chances? I know obviously it would be his jurisdiction, his area, but the chances of him being called to the actual scene itself. Or maybe he made they found sure. It. They oh, found they found it. it. Oh, they found it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, oh, right. So he clearly did that. He wanted to be the first one there mm. to find the note. He probably so. called there inten- called her there intentionally. He knew he was working that bit. Yeah. So he was the only police wow. officer walking around. What the fuck? What, so how did he kill her then? Put Is the rope around her neck? Ro- um, I think he strangled her and then put the rope around yeah. her neck, but strangled her with the rope. Right. So it was like the right yeah, yeah, markings yeah, 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 on yeah. her yeah. neck. That's mad. He obviously knew enough how to make it look like a specific suicide scene yeah. as well. Who does it from that bit of the car? Yeah, well, no one does that because a lot of people who hang themselves tend to regret it quite quickly so they always put themselves in a position that they can't then save themselves yeah. if you're going to yeah. hang off the side of a car you could just stand up Yeah, which is why they always kick yeah. a chair away and then yeah and like, all her weight would be on the floor so there'd be no pull yeah right, so it doesn't well. actually make sense it'd be tight around her neck Mad. but it probably wouldn't I don't know Mad. Kenneth See, there, was, there was an easter egg there because I was like why do we need to know what the police were called and that's why, because uh, the fucking penny drops when you say it was him. <gasps> oh, I really like that moment that, when you said the family said his name was Kenneth Blue. Oh, that was nice. What cunt Kenneth that's Blue great. is? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody, <laughs> Bloody cunt murderer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> absolute bastard. That's, that's, that's quite possibly my favourite so far. That was the story of Kenneth Blue. It's still not a scary name. Kenneth. All right, Kenneth, what you been up to? <laughs> Murdering again? You fiend. <laughs> <laughs> 